Hey, this is Mina, and we're in Bazkirtan, which is north of Mosul. We're on the road, on the way to Mosul, and we stopped by to show you um, an example of what's happening to a lot of these towns and the reason why many of the refugees are not able to go back home. In Bazkirtan, I don't know if you can show them, the entire uh, town is just demolished. A lot of um, the homes have been booby-trapped with explosives and rigged, everything from teddy bears to books to refrigerator doors. And so a lot of the IDP camps are not even allowing many of the uh, families to return home. This is um, the exterior wall of a school for children. It, was, it says on the sign, built in 1973. And ISIS kidnapped and forced families to stay, essentially using them as human shields. They would um, threaten to kill anyone that would leave. They would round up the kids and teach them how to fight and how to shoot proper shooting stances, how to reload magazines, that sort of thing. Um, if you can see, you can see a lot of the, the uh, marks on the walls from them practicing and shell casings around here. And it's just, just devastating when you think about the violence that children are exposed to at such a young age in their homes and then forced to fight. It's an example of why it's so important that we are providing trauma therapy in places like Dohuk with the refugees. So, um, this is an example of a, a town. I mean, just the road to Mosul, we've driven by a number of towns that look just like this. If you look at this home right there. Car at the bottom here. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think you can see it from here. Um, yes. Yeah, all these, all these homes. Yes. All, all these, these homes yes. have been just destroyed uh, while ISIS was here, and then as they were leaving, they would, you know, leave leave traps and, and explosives. It's just one of the techniques that they use to instill fear from people uh, returning home. It's such a. Um, it's such a strange feeling because every time I've been here, it's been winter time and cold and muddy and uh, it is springtime right now. It's, you can hear the birds chirping, it's lush and green and when you stand here, it's just so beautiful and peaceful. But, you know, right outside of this town are the people that used to live here. They can't cross the street and go back home because this is what's left of it. Um, yeah, it's going to take a long time for them to be able to rebuild or find another place that they can call home.